everybody. I missed you. I'm back. I know I've been gone. I've been getting so many nice messages from people um, saying how much they've been enjoying my videos on Lush products and how they're like, when are you going to make more? And I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so busy. But I decided to get off my butt and make one. Um, so you guys didn't think I was just blowing you off. I wasn't. I actually started my own little eBay business, I guess you could call it. And I'm going to shamelessly plug it here because I want to let you know um, that I'm selling a bunch of Lush products. And like right now, I'm just kind of selling random stuff like clean out my closet type thing. And But I've also started buying a lot of beauty products and cosmetics and Lush stuff in bulk to offer to you guys. And I'm trying to offer a lot of stuff that you can't get from Lush anymore. Like, I, I stocked up on a ton of holiday stuff, um, you know, that the Christmas stuff that's no longer available. And I also try to get a lot of stuff um, from the UK that they don't offer in America. So um, I'm telling you this because if you are looking for any of those items from the Christmas season, Please feel free to message me on YouTube and let me know which items you are interested in, and I will post them on my eBay channel for you to buy, and you can pick one up there. Um, or really anything if, that you're looking for, let me know, and um, I'll put it up there. My my eBay name is jazzgirl1979. It's J-A-Z-Z-G-I-R-L, 1979. And you can search for particular sellers by going to the advanced search and you type you click on items by seller and then you type in my name and it'll give you a list of what I have um, I don't have like a ton of stuff up all at once but like I said let me know what you're looking for especially for Christmas items and I probably have it so let's do that okay let's make a date now I wanted to cover um, massage bars in this video uh, Lushy Life had asked me about massage bars being my next video, and I was like, yeah, sure, why not? I love massage bars. They are actually one of my favorite products that Lush makes, and I really think that they are exclusive to Lush. I mean, I've never seen them anywhere else. Um, I think they might have the uh, patent for them, too. But they are a great little item. They are... Well, they all pretty much work the same. Um, really, the only differences between them are some of the shapes are different, some of the sizes are different, and the scents are obviously different. But they're all based with um, shea butter and cocoa butter. They're very convenient. They look like this. Um, they're all different shapes, but they're just a hard bar of um, shea and cocoa butters with all kinds of essential oils. And they're called massage bars because they're meant to, like, you know, make nice massage oil for you to give someone a massage but honestly I use them as moisturizers and so does everybody else they are the best moisturizers um, what you do with them is you rub it between your hands and the warmth of your hands melts the butters and the oils and creates um, like a lotion like a oily you know like a like a body oil but not really really yucky and liquidy. It's just nice and smooth. And you can either do it that way by rubbing it between your hands and then putting it on, or you can do what I do and just take the bar and, and rub it on your arms and your legs and wherever, you know. This works great. It's perfect for winter skin. Um, if you're like me and you get really dry skin and you just like that feeling of extra thick moisture on your body after a shower or bath, these are perfect for that. Um, and the scent really lasts a long time with these. Um, I find that, you know, they're almost like putting a perfume on. So I want to show you my favorite ones and why I like them. And I also mentioned a couple that I don't have right now that I've used up, um, but that you should maybe check out. Um, the first one, well, we'll start with the one I have in my hand. This is called Each Peach and Two's a Pear. It's the prettiest one, I think. It's got a little nice little cherry blossom branch on the front. Um, like I said, these all work the same, so there's not really much to tell you differently between them except for the scents. Um, this one has a very citrusy scent. I need some notes here just to so I didn't forget things. Um, yeah, that's all I wrote about this one. It's just nice, relaxing, citrus smell, clean, beautiful. Um, these all run between 9 and tw uh, nine and $11, by the way. 
um, except this one, which is $15, but that's because it's like twice the size. Most of them are around two, two ounces, two points, two to three ounces. And this guy is seven ounces. This is the Amazonian bar. And P.S., this is my used one. I've used about half of it. So they're usually like this big. I hate using stuff, uh, I hate showing you stuff that I've used before, but it's really big. They last a long time. And this one is basically scented with a mixture of citrus and patchouli. And I know patchouli is kind of a love, love it or hate it kind of scent, um, but this really is a nice patchouli. It's not like, it's like just nice patchouli mixed with citrus, really, really low key smell. Um, and it's a very unisex type smell. If, if, if a dude wanted to try a massage bar, this would be a good scent for a dude. Okay. Now this one's, um, Got some extra special properties to it. This is called Sore Labors. This is a smaller one. This one is only, I think, um, I think it's like one, one point something ounce. It's just a little smaller here. I'll show you next to each peach. There you go. This one is a retro massage bar. You can get it on the retro line. It is, um, this one is really good for sore muscles because it, it's made with um, clove bud oil and cardamom. And clove bud oil is, what is, is a pain relieving oil. Um, I guess people like in the olden days, they used to rub clove bud oil on toothaches. So it's got like a history of being a nice pain reliever, a natural pain reliever. And um, cardamom is a warming oil, uh, essential oil. So between that and the, and the clove bud, it's just a really nice one to use on sore muscles. So, that's good. All right, this one's called Mange 2. And this one ha is uh, scented with white chocolate, honey, and peppermint. This is the only one that I think doesn't have any, like, floral notes whatsoever. So this one actually makes a really nice lip balm, too. Um, now, I'm not saying, you know, you're going to carry this in your purse and be like, oh, excuse me and put it on like that, but I'm saying like if you're using it and you're rubbing it on, you might just go ahead and swipe it across your lips too because it's really nice for that. It's made with, you know, the same kind of stuff that lip balm would be made out of, cocoa butter, shea butters, and it doesn't have any of those yucky florally type scents that would taste kind of gross in your mouth, so um, that's great for that. All right, now this is one that, this is one of the two newest ones. Um, that I'm in love with just for their scent because they were made with some scents that are already out in other Lush products. Uh, this one here, it's called Strawberry Fields Forever. Strawberry Fields Forever, little plan beetle song. And as you can see, it probably smells like strawberry, and it does. It's a, a mix between strawberry and a little bit of floral in there as well, and a little vanilla. So it's like a creamy strawberry with an extra kick of floral. And it's based on the yummy, yummy, yummy scent of their shower gel. So I'm, I'm loving this. I have a, a bunch of extras of these if anybody wants to buy one um, that are still wrapped and sealed. The other new one, which is not up in the U.S. yet, I got it in the U.K. Again, I have a couple extras if you want one. It is the new Vanilla, Heavenilly uh, Massage Bar. It's kind of small, um, as you can see. It's like the same size as Sore Labors. In fact, it's a little smaller. This one is based on the Vanilla Fountain Bath Bomb, which is amazing. It's vanilla, but it's also got tonka bean and sandalwood in it. I think it's sandalwood. I may be mistaken if it's not sandalwood, but it's like vanilla with a sensual kick to it. It's so nice, and I love this one as a perfume. I just love to rub this one off for perfume scent. Um, I think I'm running out of time, so I'm going to save. I have one, two, I have four more to talk about, and I wanted to tell you a couple other things about these, so I'm going to make one more video, okay? Stay tuned. I'm watching.